Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at the brand new update of Yuzu Emulator Android and there has been few changes which are pretty interesting to be honest we are using the Yuzu Android build number 249 by the time this video is released build number 250 might also be available on its official github page but a new feature has been recently added in this brand new latest builds if you just head on over to advanced settings and graphics you will be able to see a brand new setting known as fsr sharpness now this is an amazing option because you can customize and choose the sharpness which can be set to better performance or better graphics quality it's up to you you can increase the uh, fsr sharpness all the way up to 100 and decrease it all the way up to 1 or 2 percent in today's video we'll be taking a look at it so i'll just go ahead and set the sharpness level to 100 percent and the other settings are as follows accuracy level will keep it to normal resolution is 0.75x post maximum clocks and asynchronous shaders have been enabled Let's go back in terms of system, limit speed percent will be set to 400%, dock mode has been disabled. So these are the official settings which we'll be using, along with that we'll be using the latest Mesa Turnip Adreno Driver Revision 17. With that being said, let's start by testing out Pokemon Sword which is one of my favorite games and the best games to emulate on Yuzu Android with very minimal graphical issues. Now the interesting thing is that if you set FSR sharpness level to very low, uh, you will get like smooth graphic quality but with amazing performance and as you guys can see game appears to have started now even though we are playing at 0.75x resolution you will be able to notice that the graphics are looking pretty crisp let me just go ahead and zoom in to showcase it a bit better for you guys no matter if you zoom in a lot you will still notice that the characters will be rendered properly without any blurry edges unlike previously quality anyways you will also notice that we are getting around 50 fps which is more than adequate level of performance while emulating pokemon sword on android and yeah there are no graphical issues whatsoever so let's just go back afterwards go to per game settings let's go to graphics and now we can also decrease the fsr sharpness so let's set it to four percent then go back and see what does it change with the game so immediately i can't really notice much changes other than the fact that it has lost a bit of its sharpness yeah that's basically it uh, the game textures are more smoother now compared to previously when they were a little bit more detailed but it's not even that huge of a change all right now i have teleported to a different location and i can immediately notice some changes uh, the textures are more jittery for some reason like if i just go ahead and zoom in you will be able to notice like there are some small edges which makes the game look jittery that's because we are using 0.75x resolution but if we just go ahead and go back to per game settings and increase the fsr sharpness let's go back and check it out again yeah there are very minimal differences between the fsr sharpness level high as well as fsr sharpness level low this sharpness level tweak is going to work on both mali gpu android devices as well as adreno gpu it's not just limited to snapdragon processor devices in the fsr sharpness setting you can notice that it already tells us and description it will determine how sharpened the image will look while using fsr's dynamic contrast so it's completely dynamic it's not static so obviously there will be some scenario where the game will look way better uh, whereas in some scenarios it will not matter no matter what scaling you use of fsr sharpness anyway you'll notice that our fps has improved by a little bit we were getting around uh, 39 to 40 fps but now we are getting around 45 to 50 fps so depending on how you use the fsr sharpness scaling it might affect your performance well that was all about the brand new feature of yuzu emulator android uh, in its latest update of version 249 let me know in the comment section down below how does this setting affect your gameplay and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.